Chris, uh, Peterborough United play. You must be delighted with how things have worked out. Yeah, I'm absolutely loyal. Uh, glad it's finally done. It's been a couple of weeks coming, so I'm delighted to be here. And the lads have been very welcome. So. Yeah, I mean, you, you watched the game on Saturday, obviously. I suppose when when things happen so quickly, you're sort of in the stands seeing how the how the game progressed. How, how have you found the new lads so far? And what did you make of the game on Saturday? Yeah, the game on Saturday was was decent. I thought the lads were very unlucky not to get the get the win in the end. You know, kind of got sucker punched with their goal, and obviously showed a bit of character to come back and get the equaliser. So obviously, signs are good there. That's a good team, and yeah, it's been good. It's been a good two or three days that I've been here, so I've been settling in well. Yeah, I suppose it's hard normally when you come to a new club, but I guess with the amount of Irish players here already, it's helped you settle quite quickly. Yeah, to be fair, there's one or two lads that have came to me and talked to me, and you know, it's good to hear the, an Irish accent and, and a bunch of English accents, you know, so it's obviously comforting in that. But the English lads have been also just as welcoming, you know, so it's been decent. I mean, you've obviously um, played quite a number of games already in your career, obviously you played for Bohemians before you went to St Pat's, and you've played a lot of games at St Pat's as well. Is it the right time to make the move now? Yeah, I think so. I'm not getting any younger, you know. I'm 22 now, so obviously I want to start establishing myself at a better level and testing myself at a better level, so I think the time is right. And what made Peterborough a good fit for you? I think it's just to get a chance for me. I think any could have been any team, you know, but obviously when Peterborough came knocking, you know, I wasn't going to turn it down. I've seen, I've obviously done a bit of research and I've seen to give young lads chances, so it's, that was one of the main parts, you know. It's a decent playing t- team that plays, so... You know, with the research that I've done, I've seen that young lads will get, get him to him, and so it's obviously helped me come here. And what's the manager said to you in, in his talk so far? He's, he hasn't said much before. I've met him once or twice, and he's just said, come in and be, do what you've been doing. You know, you're obviously at a level of fitness that I have is, has been decent, so he's just been uh, putting a bit of confidence in me, telling me to go and do what I've been doing, so, and I'll, I'll do that, you know. And where do you see? I mean, obviously you played in a number of positions. I think where do you see yourself ideally playing in this team? For me, ideally it's centre mid. I've always wanted to play there. Even at times when I was back at St Pat's, he's played me out in the wide left, wide right, and then when I played in centre mid, I thought I had more impact. There's more emphasis on getting on the ball and trying to make things happen, which I like to do. And you got a punch on for the old uh, extravagant, extravagant goal. We've seen a few clips on YouTube. Um, the, the little dink chip is that the best one? Um, or the volley? The volley for me, I think it's the best one, but the Dink one is probably the most memorable one. You know, I was only coming through at St. Patrick's, so that was a good start to establish myself with that little chip. Yeah, and I suppose coming in at this stage of the season is where you want to try and get into the team. That's your first game, and the first game is, is tomorrow against Millwall, so there's no better opportunity than that. Exactly, yeah. The lads have, to be fair, the lads have been very welcome to me. Uh, I've come in, and the level of fitness I have is probably on par with the lads that are here, so it's... I have a good chance of trying to make a, a foothold in the team, you know, so I'm looking forward to the next few weeks.